Um, so I originally got the idea from the owner of the barbershop, uh, which I did video for. Uh, it's called Headcase. Uh, I think it's like a chain in the UK, and um, the owner's got two different shops, one in Greenwich and one next to my house. So after the shoe for his kind of Headcase promo video, I thought, um, what else could I do? I had a meeting with him, and he said he had this idea that uh, what if a guy went to a barber shop and had a fight with one of the barbers. Admittedly, when I read the script, I didn't really understand it. And I was like, hmm, what is this? And then when I got on set, I started to see everything around me. I'm generally like that in person anyway. I don't tend to like pay too much attention to scripts. I think like if I trust the person and um, you know their character and their personality and that they've got an idea for a film, then when we get there, I like to visualize on set rather than beforehand for most of the stuff. Because it also helps when you haven't been to a location, then you can kind of tell uh, what you've got to work with and whether it looks good or not and um, yeah that was basically what happened yeah. Action. when I first saw the script of the barber fight um, I really liked it I like how the location is kind of a starting point and from like a theatre kind of background and I kind of like to start from different starting points, the location being one. So to like write around the premise of being in a barber, barbers, being at barbers and um, what constitutes a fight is quite interesting to me. I've tried my best not to uh, do a typical kind of oriental um, film. So the setting of a barber shop makes it unique already, I think and then with a unique twist at the end why they're doing the fight which you find out once you watch the movie it makes it even more different to the other kind of fighting style movie and my own style of filming is like I'll probably say is quite optimistic uh, especially the one take fight scene but we ended up pulling off after three takes uh, which I thought was pretty good Wait, wait, wait! You got like the camera! Camera speed, sound speed Uh, yeah, it was Alps' suggestion uh, to shoot the uh, fight scenes using the fig rig because that's what they use for the raid movies that Gareth Evans shot. So yeah, it worked really well because I feel that other camera rigs wouldn't work. The gimbal is just too, it's not intuitive or it doesn't have the flow. Um, the kind of handheld would be a bit too shaky. Uh, and um, yeah, the, the fig rig was just the perfect in-between thing. It allowed me to kind of do all sorts of weird sort of like going on the floor, coming back up, being quite responsive, being able to do different movements to, uh, to like capture the action, so yeah. Uh, challenges of uh, filming the fight and the film would be, I think, definitely the 
fact that we had huge windows and losing our light. We filmed in winter, so even then, like, I think the light starts going at about three, four, like, and, and then by four, it's gone. So, um, and we were shooting things chronologically, so um, we had the dialogue and the, like, set up at the beginning. Um, which we took a lot of time on, and then when we got to the fight, uh, we were losing light. Everyone was super lovely. Obviously, I knew Blake from before, and I knew Alan from before as well. We did a short film called Chopsticks together, and I really enjoy working with Alan. I think he's got a really good vision, and because um, he also comes from a theatre background, I feel like he adds character into his fights, and it's not just fist, fist, kick, fist type of thing, which I think a lot of fights are about and about showing off rather than showing, um, you know, the character and justifying it within the film. So that's why I really enjoy working with Lan and he works with my constraints as well, what I'm physically comfortable doing and what I enjoy doing and the things I can show, which is really good as well. So it's a good dialogue between director, fight choreographer and actor, I think. <laughs>